Hello. In this last lesson, I like to go over some of the terminology that you're going to encounter when you work with uh, business problems that rely on this concept of rate of change. We are mainly going to work with three functions as you would expect in uh, business problems. The first one being the cost function, C of X. This represents the total cost of producing X units of a product or service. Next function would be the revenue function, which represents the total revenue from the sales of X units of a product or service. And the last function is the profit function, P of X. This represents the profit from the sales of X units of a product or service. Additionally, we're going to use the price function, which is denoted with P of X, small letter P. The price or demand function, P of X, represents the price at which X units can be sold. And obviously X in all these functions represents the number of units of a product or service. The revenue function is going to be the product between the number of units, X, and the price function. The profit, again, it's quite obvious, is going to be the income, the revenue, minus the total cost. So R of X minus C of X. Now there are three uh, more concepts that we have to uh, to be familiar with. C prime of X or DC DX. So this is the marginal cost. This word marginal refers to the instantaneous rate of change of this cost function with respect to the number of uh, units sold. R prime of X or DR DX this is the marginal revenue function, which is nothing else than the instantaneous rate of change or the derivative of the revenue function. And then we have the same idea for the profit function. We have P prime of X or DP DX, which is the marginal profit function. And is nothing else than the derivative or the instantaneous rate of change for the profit function with respect to the number of items uh, sold. These are the concepts that you should be familiar with when approaching uh, business problems that involve rate of change.